Hello there and welcome to this tutorial which is on how to load classes using SPL Autoload Register. Now just to let you know this is part of a series called PHP from Intermediate to Advanced. However, I do want to make these videos self-contained. So if you want to do the whole thing that's nice, but if you just want to reference bits and pieces that's nice as well, okay? With that in mind, let's have a fresh start shall we? And, and I really think that's probably a good idea. So I'm going to clear the decks, right? And I have um, a folder called PHP Training. It's over in local host. Here it is right here, okay? And what we're going to do, I know it's perhaps a little bit tedious, but I would like to take a moment to just create a few classes together. So we'll have a new file. I'll call it first.php with an uppercase F, okay? And then I want you to head into PHP and we're going to say class first. And then we're just going to have a little function here called run first. And we'll just say echo hello from first with a new line, okay? Nice and easy. So that is going to be first.php. Why can I not see this? You know something? I don't know why that happens once in a blue moon. Alright, well, <laughs> whatever happened, it's one of life's great mysteries. We are here, we are clear, and we have a class. Alright, let's make another one up now. We're going to call it second. Now, I did this in the last tutorial, and it looks like I'm repeating myself. But like I say, I want the videos to be self-contained, if possible. So for the second one, we're just going to do that. And we're just going to have a little function here called run second and we're just going to say echo hello from second thank you very much indeed let's have another one and we'll call this one third.php now again please make sure that the first letter of your file name is uppercase and in a few minutes i'll explain why so this is going to be class third and we're going to have a little method here called run third and I'm going to say echo hello from third. Alright, so there we go. We have three classes all ready to rock and roll. Now, let's make up a file, shall we? And we'll call it index. But we can have index.php in lowercase. We can indeed. So we're going to have a thing called index.php. Obviously, if we refresh the home page, it's going to give us our index thing, and that's kind of nice. Now, let's talk about loading of classes. Up until now, what we've used is require once, which is not a bad thing to use. So you could say, for example, require once first. And of course, we could do the same for second and third. I hope I'm not going too fast for you folks. Anyway, we can do something like that, and let's assume that we wanted to use the second class. Well, we could just say something like, uh, second is a new instance of second, like that. And then we could just say, okay, well, second, let's call upon run second. If we save, if we refresh, there we go. Now, that works, that's good, and well done if you can handle that. However, if you're building a large app, such as an online shop, you do not want this, okay? Which uh, is perfectly possible. We really want to avoid that and find a more intelligent way to load stuff in. So, it turns out that there is something we can use, and it's called SPL Autoload Register. Now, do you like comedy? Good, because I'm about to give you a laugh. If you search for this phrase, here we go, I'm going to read this, right? It says, uh, register a function with the SPL provided, underscore, underscore, autoload queue. If the queue is not yet activated, it will be activated. If your code has an existing, underscore, underscore, autoload function, then this function must be explicitly registered on the autoload queue. This is because SPL autoload register will effectively replace any character. Okay. It's horrible, right? It's just ridiculous. Does anybody enjoy that? Does anyone even understand that? Well, fear not, because the web developer extraordinaire is here, he is clear, and I'm going to make you an expert on this subject. 
To make things clear, let's have a DC definition. DC definitions are where we cut through the garbage and I talk to you like you're a human being. And hopefully we can all walk away knowing something. So here's your DC definition of SPL autoload register. What it does is it invokes, um, do you like the word invokes? Calls, executes, whatever makes you feel good, right? So what it does is it calls a function when a class is loaded. In other words, in other words, it says to the computer, right, when you load a class, right, or when you try to load a class, it says, hey computer, it says, uh, could you please do this? And that's it. That's what it does. So let me give you an example, okay? And we'll clear the decks here. Nice fresh start. And what we'll do is we'll just say SPL autoload, whoa, 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 SPL autoload register. Okay, now the vibe is I was saying that when you load a class, this thing is going to run and we are going to tell this thing what we want to happen when we attempt to load up a class. So I'm going to chuck a little function in here and it's going to accept a thing called class and we're going to do that. Now that looks a wee bit weird, but just relax. It's really just an ordinary function, right? Now this class thing is going to be automatically passed into this and the class will be the name of the class. For example, uh, second. That's the name of one of our classes, right? So when somebody tries to call a class, so let's say, for example, we say, Okay, how about if we say second is new second, right? So what's happened? We're calling a class. Now, because we have SPL autoload register, the computer's going to say, hang on a minute. They're calling a class. I better do some stuff. And it's going to run this. Now, what would you like it to do? Well, how about if we say something like require once and we can just load up second.php. That would be good, right? That would be nice if that happened automatically. Well, we can do that, but of course, we don't want it to just load second. Let's be smart. Let's put class in here, and then we're gonna add on a little .php. Do you think life can be that simple? Do you think that we are living in a universe where things are really that easy? Let's find out. We're going to call upon run second. We're going to save. We are going to refresh and hallelujah, hark the herald angels sing. You know, I don't want to be controversial or anything like that, but that was a few lines of code, right? And it was kind of easy. And it's a real source of frustration to me that the PHP community makes stuff like this really complicated. You know, loading classes and you go here, there and everywhere and people are using vendor autoloads and all sorts of, you know, composer.fars and everything and they just make life really, really complicated. The big news flash is you don't need to make life complicated. And I hope that you'll continue with these videos because I'm going to show you step by step how PHP is really, really easy, and it's at its best when it's easy. It's other people who make it complicated, and you don't need to do that. One other thing, you'll also notice that class names start with an uppercase first character. For example, capital S, and then, you know, the rest of the word second, right? Well, when we require in those files, that means, of course, we're requiring a file that has an uppercase first character. So now, now you know why frameworks like TronGate and CodeIgniter require the files to have an uppercase first character. I just thought I'd mention that. Hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one.